go live for a few minutes. I'm sorry, I've been quiet this week. I have had a flare up in my shoulder, so I had to see my doctor, and I have been in on and off in bed. <laughs> I seen that shoulder. So I wanted to do this uh, last sealant in front of y'all. This is going to um, a place in Virginia. And this is one of uh, my unique designs here that I wanted to show you. And this is called the Angel of Freedom. And um, it's just, it just, wow, it just came out so pretty. But I'm using, um, if you've watched the other session, I talked to you a little bit about the glue and the sides and the edges, but this is totally polished, beautiful, ready to go. I used a, because I painted it and sold it finished, I wanted to go around every little place possible and just have it as perfect as I could get it. So now I'm using um, a water-based urethane on it, and I'm going along the etched areas here and I'm using a wide brush here and I'm just brushing this on had to brush this on one more time today because I promised that it would go out in the mail so my so sho sore shoulder can I not speak <laughs> waits for no one so I wanted to make sure that this got got finished so, because I want it to dry overnight. Now, um, the tight bond glue, and I encourage you to watch the other video on sealing the Radiance Barn Quilt. That's the title. You can see the details on that. But you can see where I am just basically working around where I have etched the lines for you guys. So, if you have bought a barn quilt from me and you're like, okay, um, you know, what has Trisha put together? These are on full birch wood, they're not on MDF, it, which is basically AKA fake wood. This is um, high end wood and it can be used for interior and exterior. It's birch wood, okay? The nice thing about birch wood is it's very, very smooth. And then what happens is the design then gets etched onto the barn quilt itself. So that way you have a roadmap of where to paint and design. So when you look at my designs, some of them are, uh, they range from simplistic to um, simplistic to, you know, just very, uh, one told me that one looked like a high end sophisticated piece. If you've gone to any kind of art galleries, you'll see that their lines are sophisticated and then they go to very vibrant. So it's just really your personal preference of what you get. But one thing that stays the same is that the urethane that you use, which is, I don't want to turn it around on you, Verathane, V-A-R-A-T-H-A-N-E, Ultimate Spar Urethane. It is water-based. It is in the green can. So no matter what design you choose, I want to make sure that you use a water-based coating, okay? Because if you don't, what happens is, is these colors of white, okay, um, will get yellowed. And you don't want something to yellow. I remember years ago, my sister did a beautiful uh, piece of potted uh, a terracotta pot and painted it for my mom. And she did it red, white, and blue colors. And my mom loved it. Back then, though, she didn't know that she couldn't use just basic polyurethane. Uh, and so within a year, it yellowed. And that was a shame. All right, so I've just gone over this once, and I decided to go up and work the streaks here and get coverage. Now, if you're under a good light, what you can do is you can pick it up and see, have I missed any spaces or are there any bubbles or anything like that showing? And the answer is no, it looks great. So pretty. Now, if you are interested in getting this one, this one is called Angel of Freedom. I really wanted to put it under Hope and Prayer for America, Angel. So if you want to call it Hope and Prayer for America, Angel, or Angel of Freedom, but I already have it labeled for uh, Angel of Freedom. For me, this is the Hope and Prayer for America, Angel. 
boy. Yes, we definitely need the prayers as we navigate through these times. All right. So I just went over it once. It actually looks great. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let this dry for a few hours and then do another coat. I've already done the back and it is polished and ready to go. Um, so if you're interested in this kit here, you just go to gofindyourhappy.com. I have it um, etched, labeled, ready for you to go. And I don't think anyone else out there has this design. So it would be in your home or as a gift, totally unique. These are designs that, that are inspired, um, that are just totally inspired. Um, okay. And next weekend, I am having an invite-only workshop, and it's the same price as the kit. And y'all know um, kits are, go out to all over the country. So it's a wonderful opportunity to be on the property with me if you would like to come. And that is on um, gofindyourhappy.eventbrite.com. So, um, but what do you think? Do you like this angel? I'm trying, as soon as my shoulder feels a little bit better, I'm going to have, uh, my goal is to have 12 angels that we can have in an eight by eight. So you can put them all together and they would make a crazy quilt of 24 by 24 quilt that you could put on one piece of wood and display them as a quilt design. And it would be called the angel quilt. Do you like that idea? Please tell me if you do, because that's why I've been working around clock and my shoulder's hurting. I have six already designed, but I want to get the other six done. I think that it would be absolutely amazing to have a package of angels. And if you have someone um, in your life that love angels, each one has a different meaning. Okay. All right. Well, I hope this helps you. Um, let me just turn this camera around real quick. This is the can right here. You've heard me in other workshops talk about polycrylic. I still am a fan of polycrylic, but I switched over to this one um, because it's mold and mildew resistant and it seals out water. So combining this with the tight bond glue element, I think is the secret to long-term success and having a piece of art that you just absolutely love. All right, take care and I will chat with y'all soon. God bless you. Bye.